Hi, welcome to Nikki's Toy Chest. Today we're going to be looking at different Pezzes, and I have one that's not a Funko Pop one, and then the other ones are actually all made by Funko. And two of these are actually exclusive ones. So first we're going to look at is the Piglet. And the Piglet is actually an Amazon exclusive. Now this one came with the box and it had different variety of stuff inside of the box. And one actually came with like a six inch or a four inch Funko Pop. And this was one of the things that came in the box, which is so cute. I love the Disney characters and I just couldn't resist the piglet. And then for the Snow Miser, I really like this one. This one's actually a little bit heavier than the rest of the Pezzes because his head's so big and his hat just kind of like is really heavy. And if you look real close here, underneath his nose you can actually see the icicles coming out from his nose so it just makes the character even like pop even more and I just love the details on how they did it and considering this is an old show from like when I was growing up I'm so glad that the Funko actually made this character now the evil Lynn it came from a Funko fan club so I ended up picking her up because I grew up with He-Man as well. And she's not as heavy as the Snow Miser. She's actually pretty really light. And what I like about the Funko characters is that the bases are, it looks a lot bigger than what the normal dollar store ones are. And I ended up getting this Mickey Mouse one, which I love his little hat. I love how they tried to make it look older. And I find that the base, like right here, it's just more like a dollar store item compared to the Funko ones. The Funko ones are heavier, the heads are bigger. But, you know, the Mickey Mouse is cute. But I think I prefer the Funko Pezzas more just because, you know, they're bigger and heavier. And also there's more detail to them. And then here's my Ghostbuster Peter, which I love how they have the slime on him. And the detail just on him is, I think it's pretty basic, but it's great for this pop because the slime just coming down his face just says it all. And then I have Dr. Raymond here. And I love how his glass piece here is one side is actually taller than the other side, just like in the movie. And you can actually see like the brow on his forehead here. And it's just so cute. And I love how like they do the two guys like with the same color of the base. And then the Stay Puff here is a Walmart exclusive. So I ended up getting him on eBay because unfortunately I missed him at Walmart when he did come out. But I love this one anyway. I love how they had the red cap and then the head's all orange. And like right here it, in tiny little letters it says Stay Puff. And I love how he's got the little angry look on his face. So most of all these are like all pretty light and it's pretty easy for kids like to open it up and put the candy in and then dispense the candy. But you know, for as a collector for these, these were actually made in 1927 and these were originally created to stop smoking. And they, the ones, the first ones that came out were actually called regulars. And they dispense an adult breath mint that was just marketed as an alternative for tobacco. And then in the late 1980s, they ended up putting the feet on here because they kept tipping over. <laughs> and so I'm finally glad somebody fixed that because when I was a kid, when I had the Pezzes, they didn't have the feet on. But if you can actually find ones without the feet, I suggest you probably buy them because most likely they're all collectors now 
And the rarest Disney one that actually came out in 1973 is actually a Mary Poppins one, which is the Disney one, which is the rarest Disney one. And there were actually two versions of it. They had one with blush and one without. So if you can find a 1973 Mary Poppins one without the blush, that one is worth $750. So to me, that's a huge investment if you can find that one. But if you find any without the feet, I suggest you pick it up because chances are it's a collector's. And I definitely would go more for the Funko Pop Pezzes just because they feel more sturdier than the regular ones. I mean, this one alone... I bought at Sticky's Candy, and this one was $3.99, and it came with two of the packages of the candy. And then these ones, sometimes you can get these on sale for $8.99 for the pop ones. Um, sometimes it could be $10. It just kind of varies where you buy them. Um, I was lucky enough to end up getting some of these on sale from like different places like Marketplace. Um, Amazon had them on sale. But I think you know, like these pezzes are just amazing on the detail for the Funkos. And even the Mickey Mouse one is just really cute. And I love how they made him look really vintage looking. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I know this was a short video, but I just really wanted to show off my Funko Pezzes and, you know, to show how great, like, the details. And I love how big the eyes are on the Funko Pops. Like, the eyes alone just make it pop. And I just love how the heads are so much more bigger. And <laughs> it almost feels like you just get more of your money's worth on the pop ones than you do the regular ones. Because the regular ones... You know, I've seen many different versions of regular Pezzes, and they don't seem as much detailed, but they still are cute. Thank you so much for stopping by today, and if you liked my video, please like and subscribe. And next week, hopefully, I can start my Once Upon a Time video, um, because I would like to show some of my Once Upon a Time action figures that I do have. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful Mother's Day and happy early Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And you have yourself a wonderful day today. Thank you. Bye.